hood. All right, man. I'm back, man. Book on L. You see it? The production. I'm a one man team, dude. So for the top of the year, I'm just gonna start off with truth. I ain't even gonna play this 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 nonsense game, man. Look, man. Flat Earth Theory confirmed. It's a given. Cause first, let me let me start off this with a, a disclaimer. Like, if you even gonna be able to digest this, you have to delete all of the programming that the that your elementary school done put in. You like Columbus found America and we live on a globe and they sent niggas to the moon. You got to get all of that out your head so you can just like think logically and like really be able to to process what's going on. Like before I even no, nah, I'm finna. I gotta see. I'm gonna just go off of like what's what's really real, like what we're actually looking at every day, what we deal with every day. So if we live on a spinning ball, I'm finna just type this shit in. How fast? How fast do the Earth spin? Bet that shit's saying the Earth spin at like over a thousand miles an hour. So. This is the, that ain't going to work. This, this is the globe. This is the, supposedly, this is the ball we live on. And this mug is spinning in a spiral, like in a circle. A thousand miles an hour. We outside and can't feel it. Somebody's lying to us. That's That alone make it impossible. For, like, come on, man. I, it's. I don't even want to get lost because I got plenty points to make on on how for surely the earth is not a ball and we're not hurtling through space at God knows how fast to travel around the moon on a floating ball through space. Like it's just. No, not only is the Bible telling us that that shit ain't facts, but like you Y'all having faith in something that you can't even explain. Somebody finna just give you a, a, a big science project on how we live on a ball and how it's a globe. And it's just nonsense. We wake up every day. We see the sun going around us and the moon going around us. They had it right. Thousands of years ago, the first people was like, oh, yeah, the earth flat. We watching the sun and the moon go around us like clearly, clearly. Whatever they teaching you in school is lies, man. How we, okay, so nah, this is, this is the sun, right? This is the earth. Not only is the earth spinning in a circle, it's spinning in a circle and going around the, all right, going around the sun. All right, cool. Science wise, right? All right. How the hell, how are we seeing the same stars every day? The same star constellations every day, no matter what. The North Star always, the North Star always in the same spot. How are we even... How how are like how are we not always seeing shooting stars in different galaxies and all this? Like if we're if we doing this, we spinning around in a circle. Like this shit really be blowing me that people could just go for this so easily. Like cut it out. Have and has anybody seen the the moon landing? The moon landing from the 60s or the 50s or whenever they went to the moon. Like, come on, dude. So Y'all went to the moon in the 60s with limited technology, showed us that terrible video. It was like this. The Matrix 1 looked more real than the moon landing. That was clearly fake. It was clearly a movie set. They jumping around. They damn, they got strings hanging from their backs while they jumping around put to put the fake footprint down. All it was, I think I heard recently or read recently somewhere that it was just a race between the countries to get to the moon so of course america captain said they went ain't nobody went to the moon man nobody went to the moon because you can't get out of the firmament that we live in we live in a dome it's like you see these buttons the buttons on this the buttons on this cool that's earth this is the flat earth then this microphone thing i don't even know what this shit for. i don't even use it this is the atmosphere and the dome. We're under it. We, we You can't get out. You can't get out. And the sun and the moon is going around us like this. We're not hurtling through space. There aren't aliens. 
fucking Elon Musk hasn't sent anybody to outer space to do anything. Nobody's nobody has sent anybody to the moon. It's all cap. You know why nobody's been to the moon? Cause you can't go. They lying. How is it too expensive to go to the moon? All, all the rocket fuel, man. Shut all that up, man. Shut all that up, man. They, man, if niggas would have been to the moon, the white people would have been. I think I just found it. It's, it's hard evidence that white people ain't nobody ain't been to the moon, fool. Cause you know if white, and you know the first people that would have went, they claimed it was white. If they would have went to the moon, they would have been up there grabbing stuff to come back and sell and saying that they own the moon. That's how white people do when when they pull up somewhere that nobody's been is theirs. So how come it ain't America's moon? We was there first, right? No, because we weren't there. It's cap. It's nonsense. And if they told you that in kindergarten, it's probably false. Two plus two barely holding up. Because cause all mathematical concepts break down when you start trying to use it and figure out a black hole. So if two plus two ain't right, I know we ain't been to the moon. This shit crazy. It's crazy to think. It's crazy to think that we live that we are so tiny and we living on an enormous spinning golf ball. That's what y'all going with. With no hard evidence, no proof of anything. Just told in kindergarten, you live on a ball and it's spinning, but the water ain't moving though. Not even the water can can feel can can show you that the earth is spinning at a the earth gotta spin a thousand miles an hour in a like that's crazy. That's crazy for one revolution, for one day, for one turnaround, one day the earth is spinning at a thousand miles an hour, and we look up, we look up in the sky and can't even tell. If you in a car, you can you can look out the window and see that like oh shit is moving by, it's going back, we're going past it because you're riding. But you look up in the sky on an earth that's supposedly spinning a thousand miles an hour, and the stars ain't even moving. Oh, uh, cause this exploded gas and the light just broke through the barrier and reached the all that scientific nonsense. It's baloney. And I'ma be back, man, with probably another part four, five, and six, exposing how the earth is flat. We don't live on a floating ball. And the goal is just to spread knowledge to you dummies, man. That's that's really all. And here on my show. My opinion, um, God damn it! How I'm gonna how how I ruin my 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 closing my closing statement, man? I'm gone.